A patient visit a pharmacy with a prescription prescribed with metformin sustain release 500 mg. But you have metformin 500 mg prolonged release formulation. What will you do? Do you know whether these two formulations are same or not? ऐसा भी कुछ रोग है जिसका पूरा इलाज नहीं होता इसलिए उन रोगों को मॉनिटर करना पड़ता है ज्यादा दिन होने के कारण मरीज के लिए बहुत ही मुश्किल होता है दिन में तीन या चार बार दबाई लेना इसे छुटकारा पाने के लिए दुनिया भर की वैज्ञानिक ने बनाया एक ऐसी दवाई जो इतनी बार लेने के बदले एक बार लेने से काम हो जाएगा इसको मॉडिफाइड रिलीज डोसेज फॉर्म के नाम से जाना जाता है Being a pharmacist you should know all types of modified dosage form. लेकिन एक जैसा लगने की कारण बहुत भ्रम होता है इसलिए हम एक कन्फ्यूजन दूर करने के लिए मॉडिफाइड रिलीज डोसेज फॉर्म के ऊपर एक वीडियो लेके आए ध्यान से सुनिए पूरी जानकारी के लिए मॉडिफाइड रिलीज डोसेज फॉर्म में ऐसा मैकेनिज्म डाला जाता है कि उसमें दवा का रिलीज संशोधित किया जाता है फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पज जैसे उसका रिलीज देरी से हो या उसकी एक्शन ज्यादा देर तक रहे या उसकी रिलीज एक स्पेशल टारगेट में हो या उसकी रिलीज कोई उत्तेजना द्वारा प्रभावित हो देर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ मॉडिफाइड रिलीज दो सच फॉर्म दे आर डिलीड रिलीज एक्सटेंडेड रिलीज टारगेटेड रिलीज दिस इंटेग्रेटिंग टैबलेट्स एंड स्टिम्यूलाई रिपॉन्सिव रिलीज Delayed release dosage forms deliver a drug with a delay after its administration. Example, enteric coated aspirin tablet designed to release drug in the small intestine. There are three types of extended release formulations. They are controlled release, sustained release and prolonged release dosage forms. Let me tell you one by one. Sustained release dosage forms designed to release a drug at a predetermined rate in order to maintain a constant drug concentration for a specific period of time with minimum side effects. Controlled release maintains drug release at a constant rate for a specific period of time. Example: contraceptive implants. What is the difference between controlled and sustained release dosage forms? Controlled release dosage is better than sustained release as rate of drug release is constant and side effects is less here. Duration of action is longer in prolonged release as it releases the active ingredients slowly and work for a longer time but do not release drug at a constant rate. Example: Fortimate tablets. It release drug to a specific target in the body. Mesalamine 5 amino salicylic acid tablets coated with an acrylic based resin that delays the release of mesalamine until it reaches the colon Disintegrating tablets have been developed to disintegrate rapidly in the saliva after oral administration It may be used without the addition of water Example lansoprazole disintegrating tablet In stimuli responsive release release of drugs depends on presence of stimuli like temperature pH and pulse release depending on circadian rhythm example methylphenidate pulse release capsule advantage of modified release dosage form over conventional dosage forms are possible to deliver drug to a desired target organ less side effects frequent administration is not required improved patient compliance and maintenance of drug levels within a desired range of effective dose 50% is possible etc hope you understand modified release dosage forms feel free to comment thanks for watching thank you for your valuable time i hope this video is helpful to you